Good evening, friends. I'm Willie, and I'm a Teemuholic. Hi, friends. Welcome to my, this is going to turn into a weekly <laughs> Timu 12-step meeting. Is that right, Timu? 12-step Timu. Anyway, I have a Timu problem. And I'm sharing it with all of you. Aren't you lucky? Um, I've got a big package this time. Um, because one of the items in here is large. Um, I'm not going to take this out completely to show it to you because it's unassembled. <laughs> what? Oh, good grief. I'm having so many issues today. I had a flat tire today. You should see the nail that is stuck in that tire. Oh my gracious. Anyway, there's my shiny brain in action. <laughs> this is actually, um, this big item is a duplicate of something I've already purchased and put together. And oh good, there's a picture of it. I think the bag is sticking to it or something else in here is sticking to it. Hi, I'm Willie and this is Hot Mess Productions. We are low budget here. Sorry for all the crankling. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the bag is stuck to it. Ugh. I opened the bag, but I didn't actually look. <laughs> this is called on Timu's website a floor coat rack. I they actually sell it as a shoe rack, but I liked it because. It does have these hooks on. It has one, two, three, four, five. I think you have a choice of four or five shelves for shoes. And then these hooks. A little bit of a bear to put together, but I managed to do it by my old lady self. So it wasn't that bad. But I like the hooks because I do have some... Uh, I'm, I'm a Disney adult, so I do have a small lounge fly bag collection. Some of you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I, I hung the bags, some of my bags from there. But I have a couple of other tote bags and small purses and things. And I thought, you know, I could probably use the second one of these. Because each of these racks holds about three pairs of shoes. And I am not Imelda Marcos by any stretch of the imagination. But I do have a few pair of shoes. And I was thinking of other things that I can put on the shelves as well. These are fabric-y shelves, so they're not, they're not going to hold a lot. But this is a metal frame. It's, it's not your standard plasticky thing. And the price was pretty reasonable. I want to say I paid a little less than $20 for this, maybe, or right around $20. So, um... I'll be building that probably this coming weekend and putting it next to its sister, brother, sibling. It's been a day, folks. Let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, okay. I know what this is. You know, on Timu, you have to kind of... Uh, okay, you don't have to... I need to be better about reading sizes. <laughs> um, this is one of several things that I've, I've ordered that have turned out to be a little bit smaller than I thought it might be, but I think this is going to be okay. By the way, this little guy, I don't know if I've shown him before. I got him from Timu as well. In addition to having this little blade, let's see if my hands, my hands are really cranky. I've been doing a lot of diamond painting. Nope, I can't get it pulled apart. In this part, there's a little black roller that has a pattern on it that you can use to kind of obscure your address, account numbers, that sort of thing. This is the second one I've had of these. I can't find the first one. Okay, this is the little 
little shelf that I got for some of my crystals. Diamond painting isn't the only shiny blingy thing I like. And it's got the little sun here and a crescent moon down here. And it has little shelves. Little shelves. Let's see if we can get that all on camera. Well, we can get it mostly in camera. But I thought that would be cute to display some of my smaller crystals. Maybe some little figurines. It has two hooks on the back. I will be using uh, command hooks because there's something in my lease about not putting more than two holes per wall or something like that. I like command strips anyway. Command hooks and command strips. So there's my shelf. Apparently shelf is the theme. I think there's at least one more thing in here. Again, apologies for the crinkling. This was a fairly small order. Oh, I feel something else. Oh, I know what those are. That's the joy of having, you know, way too many teamwork, team <laughs> team orders in the hopper. You know, you, you kind of get that box of chocolate thing. You never quite know what you're going to get. These are Calibans. Apparently towel clips on beach chairs are now passe and all the cool kids are using towel bands. I'm not a cool kid but I figured these would be easier to pack. They are just basically big silicone or elastic bands that you put your towel on your beach chair, put this around to hold the towel in place. You can put one at the top, one at the bottom. And we have all sorts of cool colors. I will be packing the purple one for sure. And this blue. Because, fun fact, purple and cobalt blue or royal blue are my favorite colors. Although, since I'm going on a Disney cruise, maybe I should pack the red and blue. First world problems, Willie, right? <laughs> So anyway, this is a pack of one, two, three, four, five, six towel bands for much cheaper than they sell them on Amazon. You know, we can argue the merits of buying from Timu, buying from China. Of course, some people refuse to buy from Amazon as well. So I'm just messing it up all over the place. I am not PC, kids. Okay, and this last, this is for my Disney cruise. This is just something Disney and diamond painting related. Getting on two of my big loves. Okay, this is a diamond painting kit. We've got your basic. And I'm not in even in a low budget camera. Hi, <laughs> low budget here. Uh, needs to learn to edit. We've got your basic toolkit, which is all you basically need for diamond painting. You've got your little plate of wax, your green boat, and your diamond painting pan with a single placer. And this is Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey, my favorite Mickey incarnation. And this I think this is supposed to be some kind of sun catcher. It's something that you hang. And we've got the little chain with little lobster style clasps. Let's see where are the holes. There's a hole here and a hole here. Again, this is a diamond painting kit. So let's see if, yep. It has the plastic cover, sticky surface, this is just basically a thin piece of acrylic. It's a little flexible. But again, you put the drills on there. And I'm guessing that these are probably all crystals and specials. Let me try to open this away from the camera so we don't have as much crinkling. Wow. 
one out. My hands, ooh, they are cranky. Oh, there we have some clear rhinestones or crystals, rounds. And let's see what we have here in the choo-choo train. These just look like plain black rounds. And we've got some rhinestones. Where am I going to learn to turn them over so the numbers aren't in the way? I've only been doing this for how long now, folks? But we've got all kinds of pretty colors here. I thought maybe we had some specials. I guess these are actually considered the specials, I suppose, because they're, they're a different size than the others. Oh! And we have these little stars. Kind of star-shaped things. Let's see, where do they go? They're number 12. Oh, I can see where they go. They're going to go here around the brim of his hat. Of the sorcerer hat and then up here. Wait a minute, is that 12 or 13? 12. What's 13? Is this 13? Yeah, this is 13. These rounds will go here, here, here. They'll be part of this little golden kind of rainbow. He's making a little magic. Again, Sorcerer Mickey, one of my favorite incarnations. Probably my favorite from the Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey from Fantasia. True story, I caved in and bought a Duffy Bear during a 2013 trip to Disney World. And I bought him a Sorcerer's Apprentice outfit. I'd show you, but he's up in the house in Pennsylvania. <laughs> so this is my small haul for this Tuesday Timu 12-step meeting. I finally remembered what I called it. How about that? Yay, Willie. So tell me if you like any of these items. Have you made a Timu purchase lately? Are you a Timu addict as well? Um, while I'm thinking of it, don't forget to check prices, to go back and do a price check on your previous orders within the last 30 days. Go into your order, open it up, scroll down to you see price adjustment. If the prices on any of your items have lowered since you placed your order and paid for it, they will refund you that money. They'll put it back into your Timu account. I think you can get it refunded back to your original payment method but I always just have it put back in my account and I've placed orders where I've gotten a six dollars off because of previous price adjustments and you can do more than one price adjustment per order so every time you're in there looking around Timu um, make sure that you go in and check your price adjustments it's only for orders within the previous 30 days, I believe. So that's my one Timu tip. And if you have Rakuten, make sure if you order on your laptop, make sure you've got that Rakuten browser extension because they give rebates on Timu purchases. I the, When I checked the other day, I want to say it was 16% back on your order and you get that every three months, I think, in a check from Rakuten. Um, so don't forget about that. If I have a referral link for Rakuten, I'll put it back in the, uh, the, 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 the comments. <laughs> I'm sorry. Willie's getting hangry and Willie needs to go make something to eat so her brain works again. So this is my haul for today. I think I have another order on the way, so there may be another Timu 12-step meeting next Tuesday. But anyway, friends, thank you for joining me today while I wallow in my addiction and celebrate every stinking moment of it. I think this Mickey's going to get done pretty quickly because he's just cute. 
and I would like to have him hanging in my window. I think that would be very cool. Anyway, friends, take care. Thanks so much for visiting me. If you have a YouTube channel, please let me know in the comments down below so I can come show your channel some love. Take care till we meet again. Remember to always find time every day to do a little something that you love. Bye, friends.